How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to... I still don't like that win, but welcome back to the Crooked Man. Uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> what? Hi. Why, why is it here? Back in the hotel, I thought... Damn it. I'll think about it later. G gotta run. Come and get me, punk. Okay. So thinking it through, the only times I've ever been able to do anything to attack you either provide a weapon and tell me to attack with the weapon or it's an item that I already have and it'll do it instantly once I select it so what do we got got a crowbar hammer lighter leaflet addresses obviously those aren't gonna do anything scrap of papers aren't gonna do anything but that just leaves a key, which we're in John Keith's room right now, so the only thing I could imagine would either be one of the weapons or lock him in. Let's try the crowbar. No. Let's try the hammer. No. Let's try, since I'm closest to it, John Keith's. Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna stab the guy with the little key. It it'll work. Don't 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 you worry. Let's try the lighter. Okay, must have to lock him in. That monster's in there. I'm not going in. Lock the room. Oh. I'm not letting you out, dude. Surely that'll keep it in. Whew. Surely. This is so bizarre. I mean, back at the hotel, I... The hotel's hours away. Isn't it? I don't know. Could it really be following me? Why? How? Gah! This is driving me nuts. Where am I hallucinating this thing? You're asking me? Then again, it did attack Sissy. So it can't be my imagination. It exists. Monster that it is. D. If that monster's here, I have to warn D. Tell him he's gotta get out of here. Why? I don't give a shit about D. Bye. Wait, if I go back. He's still there. Okay, never mind. Uh. You know what? No. Fuck D, I'm just gonna progress. Alright, so there's a stairway and three rooms. Okay, let's go left to right. Well, room wise. It's locked. It's not gonna let me in ever. And. Uh... What? Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. Today is for us. The best day of our lives, okay? Because today, we leave the nest of our school and begin our climb to adulthood. Alright then. I mean, if you say so. My words are proper. Me grammar proper. <laughs> no, me don't. Those who passed the bar exam, those who didn't. Those becoming clerks or notaries or teachers. All of us will be graduating from this school, and we owe a great debt to it. Do we? Though even if they manage to graduate, some of us may need to put a little more time into their studies. <laughs> well, it's not nice to be that way towards people who don't pass. <laughs> Loser. I'd basically be laughing at myself at that point. <laughs> But these graduates have one thing in common. They're filled with hope for their future. They're ready to challenge what lies ahead. Okay. A toast to our dreams. 
to our yet unsure futures. And may we have God's grace. Nice. D. How did you get in the lecture room? Wasn't the hallway locked? Eh? You forget I'm a graduate here? I know all the secret ways, dummy. I mean, I guess that's fair, but you don't have to say it like that. Huh, well, what were you listening to? A tape? Yeah, from a graduation day. Man, has it really been three years? I think it's about... Eh, I don't know. I don't know, when did you graduate? What year is it in the game? What When did you graduate? Yada, yada, yada. You need to know this information. It's detrimental. No, it's not. I was getting nostalgic for the place. And even abandoned, it really hasn't changed. It's just like it was when I was taking classes. Uh, okay, then. It doesn't really look run down at all, to be fair. So I actually do believe that. Studying was wearing me out. So I came here for a breather. It's nice to have places full of memories like this. Yeah, I can't argue that. You graduated, but you're still studying? Hey, lay off! Yeah, I couldn't pass the bar exam, so I'm cramming at home now. Oh, sh, sh, sh okay. I'm not judging you for it. Next up's gonna be my sixth attempt. There were lots of great guys in my class. Most of them passed in one shot. Most guys are smarter than you, Dan. Being a lawyer has been my dream since I was a kid. So I was so happy when I got accepted here. Felt I was one step closer to making it come true. Okay. The work was rough. And I just barely managed to graduate. I think it's my kind, helpful professors that I did it. I'll pass next time for sure. I mean, it's my sixth time anymore, and I'll be way behind my classmates. Okay, alright, cool. Well, it's good to be motivated, but it's dangerous here. You should get out of here soon. Huh? Dangerous? What? It's sort of hard to explain kind of a monster here it'll attack you if it finds you I thought you were just some weird old guy wandering in an abandoned school but damn you really are no hey seriously a monster <laughs> even little girls don't believe that stuff you're being a total doofus oh buzz off do you enjoy making fun of people? I don't think I'm much older than... <clears throat> don't try and debate with me, alright? I'm a talented student, but I wasn't debating. How was what I was saying debating? I'm not even finishing your statement. You're just a dumbass. Ugh. Do we... We'll do what you want. But don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, I will do that. Thanks. Well, no wonder you didn't pass. You're one of those dummies who just probably worms their way around to getting good grades until the final and then fails that. I know. For a little bit of time, I was one of those dummies. Like I need a shady punk like you telling me what to... You know what? Screw you. Go bang your alpha mater for all I care. I don't... Just get out of my face. Hey, Paul. I, I got in. What? Really? You got in? To fight school? Nice. That's crazy, David. You can't even do a handstand. You can really do it if you try, man. <laughs> Thanks. But it doesn't make me a pilot yet. Still have to pass the exam. Man, dude. You totally will be. And make sure to give me a ride. I'd love to fly above the city sometime. Okay. Paul, I'm not going to fly passenger planes. It's not that kind of school. Don't sweat the details. I'm glad for you. You did good. 
Hey, I'll take you to lunch today. Cool. I appreciate it, Paul. Back then, I wasn't really thinking. I was just going wherever I wanted. Yeah, sounds about right. Maybe D is like that too. Give him the benefit of the doubt. What is this? The school newspaper is posted up. What do I get? Julius Stone Law School. Topics of the week. A big hand for Mitchell Statham. Statham? I don't know how to say that. Today, we must pay tribute to our friend Mitchell for his latest achievement. His dissertation in regards to current international law has made an appearance in Regal Collection, majoring in global jurisprudence in Cindy Peterson's class. I have the feeling this page is going to have something to do with Cindy Peterson's room, just from that. Unless, let me see if there are any other names on here, other than those two. He continues to study hard in the hopes of becoming an international lawyer after graduation. Below is the full text of an interview between Mitchell Statham and I don't know who. Uh, is there anything? Mitchell Statham, birthday 6, 19, age 20, residence, Marble Hill. I don't think Marble Hill is going to do anything. Um... Zero, six, nineteen, and twenty. I have to keep in mind those three numbers. I've still got this from last episode. So zero, six, one, nine, two, zero. Not particularly in that order. I just need those three numbers. We'll figure it out in a bit. And yeah, it does look like it's just Cindy Peterson. So maybe something to do with her room. Is there like a locked box in there that I don't remember or something? First, before doing that though, I do want to see what's up over here. He almost painted over. Okay, we can't go in there. Can go in here, but for what? There's not anything in here, right? Yeah, there's not anything in here. Why would you want to come in here? Hello, paper. Found a scrap from a notebook. Okay. Another one, huh? The rule matches these other pages. So he was here. What was that? Oh, for the love of Pete. Uh, I don't know what that was. The rule matches these other pages. So he was here. Okay, what does it say? Here, move the camera slightly over. Many hopes were fulfilled here. Many youths were blessed, but I didn't receive that blessing. What's the problem with me? Who refused to pick me and left me in the dust? I loathe those meaningless days. Okay. He had a leaflet for this school. It was in the desk. Felt like it was important. Was he trying to be a lawyer like Dee was? Maybe. I guess this would imply he didn't become one. Either that or he was putting himself too far down. Which could be possible with the mindset that it sounds like he has. Where was Cindy's classroom again? That's the faculty room. Not down there, that's going to be the basement only. Lefty Lewis, that ain't it. You, I still don't know how to say that. McGuire, let's just call you Lizzie McGuire instead, is that okay? Reference room. Computer room. Parlor. None of those. How about that for one? Ray Twain. We've already been in there. There's nothing else to do in there. Franz Moore. Over here. What's this? Cindy Peterson. Here we go. Is there anything? Lots of books. Lots of books. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
security box that requires a passcode. Okay, so pull this out. We've got three different numbers to choose from. Six, which is the month, I would assume. 19, which would be the day. And 20, which is the age. If it were me, I'd go with the uh, 619. Um, oh, well, is it 0619 or is it going to be 1906? Again, I don't know if this is like an American made game or if it's U EU or, you know, not American, I guess I could say, because everywhere else does it in reverse. Um, we'll try the reverse first of what I'm picking, which is 1906. 1906. Nope. Okay. Then let's try 19. Well, 0619. Okay, okay. There's a key to the lecture rooms inside. All of them? Every single lecture room. Okay. Um, let's go to the lecture rooms. Let's backtrack because this is something we really like to do. It could stop with the woo 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 wooing. Not that one. Lock lecture room three. What's in here? Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. What's this? Found a scrap from a notebook. Okay, what does this one say? I knew there was something I lacked, but I didn't want to admit it. My ambitious youthfulness wouldn't let me. I wanted someone to say it. I wanted to be woken up, to be told I'm a have-not. Why would anybody want that? something you lacked. I have not. Why did the sound stop? It's true. There are haves and have nots. People whose dreams can come true and... Ugh. Again? Sometimes my head just starts hurting bad. Please stop. Oh no! Finally, it. Gah! D damn monster! Why are you chasing me? G ah! uh. uh oh, did I do a bad? What happened? What the hell? What? Did you kill me? Ugh. No, okay. I was worried there for a sec. So, what was that all about? Why? Why? I'm... I'm alive? The monster is gone. I thought it would kill me. But it left? Damn it! Damn it, I wasn't killed! Why are you upset about that? What are you upset about? Maybe I'm mis misreading it. Ugh, my neck hurts. And I feel so sluggish. I haven't really slept since yesterday. I should try to rest somewhere. Whoa! Oh my. That's a problem. There's a notice about a seminar. Seminar at uh, 921 in the auditorium. Crime among the improvisers, that word, and its prevention. Ivan Abelitsev's criminal behavior, a psychological approach, will be referenced, so be sure to read it before becoming. Franz Moore. Okay, I'm going to take the wild guess. If we haven't done the thing yet, the, the chest itself, or Franz Moore... Um, 0921 will probably be the code. I'm not certain, but I'm going to note the code just in case. Or what might be the code? 0921? 0921.
because I don't think I've opened the one from him yet. We're just slowly but surely getting to the end of this. Anyway. I am very sluggish and I don't like it. I am going to leave this video here though. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any suggestions for any other um, horror or RPG games that you'd like to see on this channel, or if it's a mix of both, sure, that one too. Let me know in the comments below. Want to check out any others that I've done prior to this game, I'll have a link to one down over there. This game itself will be across my head over here. In the meantime, I'm out, but I'll see you guys later. Bye!